punches. I just got a weird kink where it's like, I need you to punch my clitoris before we get started. I need some percussion on my... uh, If you could just, like, jab cross a couple times, that'd be great. If you could do a drum line on my G-spot. We did make it in time. I calmed down. (laughs) Yeah, Celia started to freak out a little bit. I thought we were going to be a whole hour early. I was like, what are we going to do here for a whole other hour? And then we got here three realize. minutes for me to spare. Got there just I in time. I said 4.30. It was a two-hour drive. We would have gotten there 30 minutes ahead of time. That would have been time to fucking vape, collect our sets and ourselves. You know what? I'm calm again. <laughs> Can you still hear me or did they turn it off? It sounds like it's off, but... Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. I can hear you. How about now? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Yeah, I know. I get sometimes I get anxiety when it comes to doing shows. Like I like to be there like on time. Yeah, for real. And I like to get a view of an idea of the venue. It drops on conversations a little bit. Josh, what are you doing back there? Let me see if it's recording. You know, there's nobody who can throw camel coins at you right now, right? Oh, there we go. I muted his mic. Oh, he just cut my mic, didn't you? Yeah. Cut his mic. Was it that loud? Yeah. I have headphones. Hmm. I don't know what y'all hear. Maybe that shit's copyrighted. I don't know what you're playing. I know you didn't write that. I know you didn't write that. Man, that was four <laughs> chords. Neither did the person that made money off of Did that. you write those chords? No, but is my mic muted? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you Unmute. go. Unmute. Oh, you cunts. <laughs> How could you tell? I right, fucking by the buttons you were pressing. I don't oh. have headphones. <laughs> Could you hear this? Do you have headphones? No, I can't hear shit. I just think it's funny. I keep seeing you push the button. I just played the sad trombone, so Aww. it really, it really. Hey man, fuck all y'all. <laughs> I never. I need to like put these. Uh, Wait, is my mic still on? Put these drops on. I don't even know. I need to put these uh, sound sound drops so I could like you know. I find it slightly disconcerting that we're putting this much attention into the podcast while we're also driving at like 80 miles per hour on the freeway. But you know what am I? I'm, I'm not you, a doctor. That was that was episodes ago, man. We've done this a lot of times, and that was yeah. the main joke the first time. Don't worry about it. I'm a, I used to be a truck driver. I still have a CDL in my blood, even though everything's revoked. He can masturbate, eat a sandwich, and drive at the same time. Yeah, I can. Well, roll at a- least we know if there's road rage, we we're strapped and ready for that too. I used to roll a blunt while smoking a blunt. There you go. Why Even if doesn't can't matter it. how attractive or unattractive you are, the truth of the matter is you'll probably fuck get that person laid more than Josh, and then you'll still get less action than Celia. It's true. Like, I'm what most people would consider conventionally attractive. And Celia is what most of us would call a dumpster fire. So y'all, y'all, mm-hmm. so before y'all did it, y'all moved in together? Or how do y'all live together? And, uh, I don't how, remember. How is this I think it started done? with doggy style. He normally is, gets drunk and says shit like this normally when his friends are out because he's flexing. Is this like a, is this like I'm a. I'm not flexing. I'm trying to fuck. What is that? What is that thing called when you're. Not uh, you and not tonight. Yeah. But like, I, you know my MO. I be trying to fuck. All the time. What's that thing called mm-hmm. when you live together so long you're married? What? Uh, common law marriage. Domestic partnership. Yeah, we are. Common law marriage. Yeah. Oh, I was going to go with the fucking, what's that thing where you get a, uh, the captor? It has to be uh, seven years to be a common law mar- marriage in Arizona. No, what's the thing where like the fucking hostage falls in love with the captor? Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that shit. You're the landlord, though. Wouldn't that make you the captor? Whoa, 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 calm down. I don't want the crystal holders to get mad at me. I'm not a landlord. I'm just the dude you give money to occasionally. Do you know uh, you know any crystal? Oh, shit, I am the landlord. Any crystal holders? Yeah, I, fucking... I heard this... Uh, it chick- is Apache Junction, but no. I've heard a crystal dildo the other day. We might have been talking about the wrong crystals, homie. Mm. Oh, Different right? Crystals. <laughs> crystal meth dildo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apache Junction. That would probably weird get terms. you high. What it? Can you do meth vaginally? <laughs> vaginally? Yeah. Why yeah, not? I mean probably. I mean, why? I mean, if you stick it in your ass, it'd work better like, though. We all know it doesn't metabolize because of that one funny bitch whose name I'm forgetting. What's her name? Melissa something. Metabolism. The fuck are you talking about? No, there's this bitch who has a great bit about how she started drinking her own pee oh, because Jessa meth- Reed. Jessa, Jessa Reed. Reed. That's what it was. She's fucking hilarious. It's the one kind co- like. I met, like, oh, they, Jezza Reed, and at the time, her podcast partner, Aaron, 
Woodall, they fucking did a set at Comms when that place was still around in Mesa. And I had a great time talking to Aaron after the show, but I fangirled out and couldn't fucking talk to Jessa. I was just like, oh, like, I had heard her meth piss bit already. Like, she was fucking legend status to me, and I, I just bitched up and didn't talk to her. Can you meth piss but, in my mouth? Yep, pretty much. But uh, I did get to, like, sit there, and Zook tossed me a bag of weed and was like, hey, Krizuka. roll up some joints. Yeah, Zooker. In the fucking middle of the venue, and he's just like, hey, roll some joints. And Woodall and all of us just sat there and got stoned and talked shit. It was a fucking great time. Like, that Mormon fucking twat is, like, for one, the most comfy shirt I've ever bought wearing, motherfucker. Like, sorry, Hector, his shirts are comfier. <laughs> you should you should uh, ask him what company he outsourced with. I think it might have been American Apparel. I don't really know. If it's not child labor, I don't want them. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, like, if the kids ain't getting fucked, it's not my fun, size? but... What size? 3X? I think I have some. I was trying to give some away, because I think I've those are the only ones that I can't sell. Okay. So I have an overstock of 3X. I'll buy one from you. And they take up a lot of space in the duffel bag, so you can have one. Yay. Cool. Sometimes it pays to be a big bitch. Yeah, yeah. This was the most entertaining, boring conversation I've had. And now you know what it's like to be your roommate. <laughs> God damn. She probably right, though. You repeat yourself a lot. <laughs> yeah. I do. I do. And I'll be doing talk, that. And you, you over talk, so I got to, like, let you talk a lot. I don't want to talk over you. He's not as bad as me, though. Me? He's <laughs> fuck. Miss that guy. Isn't that Mr. I like, don't. sleeps in the bed next to you, pulls your penny over me? He's like, oops, whips. Yeah. I'm sorry. I missed my meat. Yeah. That motherfucker. Oh, I better turn that lane assist off. I mean, rape's cool, I guess. <laughs> Oh, wait, sorry, wait, no, no, no. Opposite. It's a podcast. Oh, shit. Nobody can see you. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get Rogan. You're like, in your element. They're going to be like, he said the N-word. Don't let Sweetie, that guy tattoo you. You have to get known before you can get Joe Rogan. <laughs> oh, shit, you're right, I'm good. Yeah, you're fine. It's like tweakers who say the N-word outside of Circle K. They get a pass because they don't have a place to live. That, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> like you've never seen anybody correct them. I mean, that's because nobody fucking cares to. You write. Oh man. Yeah. I just had a realization. Nobody cares to correct them because. Oh. You've never fuck. seen a Karen or a fucking woke bitch go up to Tweaker. It's like, hey, I know you're in the middle of like tweaking or whatever, but the words you're saying actually instill a lot of racial <laughs> hate and go into the whole spiel, which it does. But nobody gives that speech to the fucking tweaker. They just avoid contact and just thankful that nobody asked them for change. Well, that's also because those motherfuckers are likely Which is have, ironic. Like, bees hanging off their beard and shit. They might be talking to trees and we don't know if they're like, you know, What tweaking. are you talking about bees off a of beard? Bees off a of beard? A it's beard an of example of motherfuckers being crazy. Oh, a beard of bees, like the carnival. Yeah. Oh I'm just saying, saw like, a dude walking crazy, through Phoenix, to trees straight up, who huffed paint. You could see the fucking ring around his mouth of blue paint. <laughs> Sucking stank. Off to Valhalla, motherfucker. And, like, when I saw him, and, like, his eyes were fucking, like, dilated like a fucking shark, too, and he's Pass just walking with his mouth cunt. open. I am all about that. My eyes are getting dilated back here. I'm about to fucking jerk off in this back seat. Let's go. There is a little camera there. So go ahead and jerk off. That's good. It'll see my little dick. The one they were going to try to fit into the water bottle? I uh, didn't Louis C.K., you guys. It was it's dark lighting. Bottle. You can't see nothing. <laughs> now I feel like i like fucking got to backtrack from fucking podcasting. Hey, look, my dick's small. You can't see it. Also, Rock shout out roll. to Josh. This is the most comedy he's been around in a couple of years. I'm trying to find out how to get Josh to just uh, come down a level. And to have have a, a a talk real quick. Have a talk? What's this talk about? <laughs> I don't know. All right, like, all right. You're in this uh, 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 performative uh, thing still, and we're just trying to talk, and you keep on saying butthole and stuff and jerking off. I mean, I'm a fan of buttholes and jerking off, so that's... <laughs> all right, all right. But what are we trying to talk about? Like, we trying to talk. All right, go ahead. We were, we were talking about... What were we talking about? <laughs> Fuck. Motherfuckers, I'm, I'm listening now. And... <laughs> He's like, I'm being attentive now. You didn't say shit. Exactly. Like, 
So we Let's talk, talk about, about the lack of comparative literature used in modern day joke theory. Just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have a fucking no. This a new bit? No. I just wanted to say words and see if anybody responded. No, uh, I'm stupid, so I'm still trying to comprehend like what eight of those words were. Comparative literature? What? Two words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounded like eight. Like, okay. Look, I'm fucking dumb. I get paid to draw on people. I know, but the other day you were saying it's like, I don't mean this disrespectfully, but I think I'm smarter than you. <laughs> yeah, which doesn't give me much hope for you. I'm the one crushing my sets. Yeah, it doesn't take a smart man to do that. A woman? Yeah. The jury's out. Have you seen her penis? I mean, it's pretty tricky. It is a tricky dick. I'll it's tell a, you that. It's much. the hardest thing to do in the world, Josh. I call her Trixie. What, sleep with Celia? It's not that hard. To uh, make people laugh. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that's difficult. I am definitely aware of that. Uh, that's what, see, I'm a motherfucker, uh, like, off the stage. I can do it for, like, five, ten seconds, but... Yeah, also, yeah. you couldn't do it for a full three minutes. I went for 20. <laughs> yeah, you. Look, if we were reversing this to fucking, I'd probably still lose, but that's not the point. Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know. My dick pointy. I imagine your dick is split in two, like like your tongue. No, 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 no. See, that's what you do when you have a small appendage. I did it to my tongue. I didn't need to do you it to my dongus. You just have two little dicks. Well, now it's confusing because you said you had a small dick earlier. Now you're saying you have a big one. Two and small ones it makes a big one. Eh. It's like a double stuffed Oreo, but it's a different kind of cream in the middle. Ooh. Non baby making cream. We've been like, hitting the balls too like many a, times. I was gonna say like a cockroach, but yes, that too. Yeah. Ooh, I like that cockroach. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, Beavis. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, cockroaches have two penises. Yeah, Are you threatening me? We were talking about it earlier. You remember? Oh, yeah. Do you remember, Josh? I remember talking about. It. I didn't remember talking about it with the microphones. Now. Did we have the mics on? I don't remember. Did yeah. you see the new Beavis and Butthead yet? I have not. I'm behind on a lot of cartoon shit. It goes away. Watch Death is for Family all the way through, though. Still love that show. Death is for Family? F is for Family, the Bill Burr cartoon. Oh, fuck. I need to catch up on that. I forgot. Dude, uh, I love that one. And my nephew loves Bill Burr. And I, like, showed him the Bill Burr Philadelphia rant. And my nephew was just losing his mind. You keep talking over us with some gibberish. Yeah, you're Averying it. You're Averying it. Okay. You unmute you? Unmute you. <laughs> well, I mean, you still hear me through the unmute. Okay, I'll shut up now. <laughs> the only way you'd be more like Avery if there was food in here and you were grabbing it without asking. <laughs> All right, that's He actually fair. asked me for cigarettes yesterday politely, and I'm like, okay. He asked me for a beer, and uh, before I could buy it, he asked me two more times, like before the bartender could even bring it. I was like, you're about to make me not want to buy you a beer anymore. That's fair. Like, I just said yes already. Why are you asking me again and again? Is because um, you're drunk? Yeah, probably. <laughs> and I apologize for the times you, I do that to you, too. You drive, Josh. Wait, what? Oh, uh, when you ask over and over again. <laughs> About what, driving? No, like for a drink. What does that make me drive for? Why would I drive if All right, we're gonna mute the drink? We're gonna mute it. We're gonna mute him. <laughs> mute. I mean, like, I I'll do it this time. I'm just gonna. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm asking you stuff, and you're not answering. I did answer. I was like, "Why would I drive if I'm the fucking one getting the drink?" That's not what I asked you. All oh, right. what'd you ask? Nothing. Nothing. But fucking, you can't say nothing after you just lectured me about not answering. You made me forget. All right. You want to know the truth? I didn't. Okay. That's yeah. What's the truth? Oh my god. We should watch sports documentaries, though, because I got addicted to them watching it with this fucking idiot. We should do commentating on it. Yeah, I need to get back into sports. Uh, I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a league. I'm actually down. What was that? I'm down. Wait. Did you say you were in an NBA fantasy league? Or? Yeah, or no, it's NFL league. What do you do? Did y'all watch a bunch of uh, NBA sports documentaries or what? Um, there's, like, the untold stories on Netflix, but we watched, um, what's it called, Linsanity on Prime. Oh, Which yeah, was about Lynn Jeremy Sandy. Lin, and that shit was fucking amazeballs. He's my new celebrity crush. I saw a like, documentary uh, on that Mante 
Manti Teo. Manti, Manti Teo, <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> ultimate catfish story before motherfuckers knew what catfishing was. No, so I what think was it, that I think story? everybody I think everybody knew what it was. <laughs> no, no, probably not because that in was the like 90s there was the a first... show called Catfishing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, catfishing which is old. came out after Manti Teo got no. fucking catfished. When did he get catfished? Uh oh shit! All right, touche. That I don't know. Right. My phone's buzzing with notifications, but not for that question. He's like he thought he had a girlfriend. What did he like brag about her? How did everybody yeah, find no, about? Yeah, well, see what happened was his fucking grandma actually died, and then the dude who was catfishing him, who like now identifies as a woman, so like there's oh, levels to this shit. Well, it was. I mean, now it's a lady. I guess I don't. I don't really know how that shit worked. But yeah, yeah, no. But this person was catfishing him as a different person, and decided after the grandma died that uh, three hours later would be a good time to announce their fake death too. So the motherfucker like not only had his grandma die, but his fake girlfriend die the same day, and he didn't know his girlfriend was fake until like fucking way after the fact. So dude was just going through like this dude got catfished like nobody in the history of catfishing. He didn't even know it was a thing. He was just like big old Samoan fucking like good muscle head dude. Like he was a fucking stand up dude who was just busy on like doing oh, he did comedy? shit and then got fucking caught up in some like naive ass. I don't know, man. Like stand up dude. So he did comedy because this is funny. No, no, no. I mean, it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> don't so get me wrong. Given time, he could be one of the best stand ups ever. <laughs> yeah. Without having even picked up the mic. The motherfucker like, already beat me. Like, like, I can never do better than Manti Teo. He's like Hawaiian. Which means I should quit now. Oh, Hawaiian, Samoan, I don't know. One of those, tri- like, those are the only people I don't, like, I'm scared of those motherfuckers. Like, I, the only women I would never, like, but I got slapped by a Samoan chick one time in, like, sixth grade. And it might have, like, she was in the same grade as me. Why'd but she, she might have been, you? like, a fucking 40 year old school teacher for all I know. Were like, y'all playing uh, Street Fighter? What? Not against Samoans or women that are Samoans. Like, fuck that shit. Like, Nobody white ever, women, you can, like, strong arm them. Cool. Nobody Samoan ever. Samoan bitches, like, oh, oh no, my no, God. No, I, fuck just, you up. I can't get no words in with you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. You listen back and me trying to say the same thing, like, four times. Uh, like looking for a space to jump in on the jump rope. Like nope, nope, nope. He's you bringing out. He's bringing bit. out two yeah. ropes. <laughs> what the fuck is there three ropes for now? Because the fucking small bitches are scary. You gotta like, have three ropes. Just because you're a juggler. Uh, perhaps. Maybe maybe just because I have the the headphone in my ear and I can hear all the like, audio feed. Maybe. Maybe I, I need to give I, it to Josh so he can hear the audio feed. That. I mean, I only hear dick back here, so I'm like, I, I could be. Yeah, that is, that's probably why I'm you're sorry. in the back seat. There we go. We solved it. All right, my bad. I'm the Ooh. one being a dick. No, no, no. I'm probably. I gotta the talk one louder. Being... I gotta talk over you. Like to be fair, Hector, you could be more assertive. I will say <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> could be so soft spoken, you bitch. Yeah. I mean, you said it, not me. Like when you get like rowdy drunk, you will do the same thing though. <laughs> <laughs> only when you do it, it's fucking hilarious because you're always quiet. And it's like, oh shit, Hector's wild. <laughs> Hell Wait, yeah. he'd, be, he'd be wild but quiet? <laughs> so no, he gets loud. I'm self aware of myself. <laughs> no, one time he like was at Devil's and he was, like was already drunk when he got there. I don't know. Like, I don't think he drove. I think you came with your homies and I had already gone up and you're like, well, go up again. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> didn't it didn't happen. <laughs> and you like said it and everybody like turned. <laughs> it was cracking me the fuck up. I believe that was the same night Ricky was sh- more shit housed and I was the one sober that night for some reason. I don't know if I was broke or I just didn't ask anybody for anything. But, like, Ricky was shit-faced and, like, I had to walk her to the bathroom. And I know everybody was like, oh, damn, you have to be fucked up when Celia has to take care of you. (laughs) Uh, I miss Ricky. She's in New York now, right? Yeah, her and Xavier, right? Xavier? Norris? Norris Norris or whatever? Yeah, I think he moved with her. Oh, shit. Yeah. All I'm saying is I feel like one of those little Asian childs that needs to pee really bad. Again? Hey, man, you pee like a little girl. There was a bathroom. Did you? I, nope, this is on me because I said I was going to tell you to go to the bathroom before we left. Oh. Wanted to keep on drinking beers. I told you to take a shot. Look, man, I like being inebriated. That's my fucking problem. Yeah. 
Like, I also have that problem, but, like, at a certain point, like, all day is not good, bro. Yeah, but I you know got, I do like, too walrus off, bladders. But. How many days a week should, Dude, you, should you drink? So, actually, Ooh, that's a good theoretical question. I know this because I talked to my psychiatrist. What so, for say? an adult male, it's considered excessive drinking if it's more than 7 to 14 drinks in a week. 7 to 14 a week. That's two a day. Yeah. Or if, like, you do them all at once. But it's considered binge drinking if you have more than, I believe, it's four. More than four? four. Five in one day. What fucking squares got employed at this but like if you're doing that like every week, then it's considered a minor. <laughs> it suggests a problem because it's uh, showing that you have a binge drinking problem. So you like to get fucked up to the point you have no control. Yeah. Or <laughs> you use it to self-medicate like some people, myself included, where it helps you sleep. You pour it on your cuts. Yeah. Oh my God. I used to do that. I used to pour vodka on my fucking cuts after I do it felt so bad and so good at the same time it was like ah oh, it was like a mini orgasm like i should get some new friends because this is making me feel I better about my do it. Ha- like like this is making me feel better about my bad habits because now i'm like well like, six and i haven't cut myself and poured booze in my years? butthole wound yet uh she's not your friend she's your girlfriend what? Yeah. No, I haven't got her pregnant yet, so that doesn't count. Woo! Like, no, yeah. Yeah, both of y'all are like, whoa. Yeah, well, you know, Alex cursed me. He said I was going to get a big common bitch law. pregnant common by the law. end of 2020. Seven years for a common law marriage, motherfucker. <laughs> stay away from my dick. together for eight months. You stay away from my vagina. Common law. I will let you know if I can fucking locate it. Like that show, The Honeymooners. You fucking stumble around drunk enough, you'll fall into it, hassle. I've done that once or twice, so does yeah. check out. Sorry, what were you saying, Hector? Uh, honeymooners? Have you ever got fucked up to where you wake up? Black eyes or some shit? Broken feet? <laughs> I was sober when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Doing karate? Excuse me for liking to spar. Did you? Were you hitting a tree? You what? were fucking kicking a rock, you lion. I was taking down a motherfucker, and my foot hit the rock. Oh, I thought you were trying. Right. To chop so down you're a doing tree. it really <laughs> well, no. is what you're saying. I thought you were doing like the movie shit where they kick trees. No, like uh, breaking boards and shit. I've got to like practice for that. She was doing get the, the movie block. shit. Were you trying to break the board and you hit the block? Oh, yeah, she was doing the movie shit where it's the bad scene. One time, somebody tried to kick a brick without it being like held down so when they went to kick it the brick hit straight down and jumped back up and hit them right in the fucking ankle like it didn't break it but there was such a huge ass bruise and like it scraped across and they were bleeding and everything and shit was fucking hilarious got all puffy yeah got all cankly bing bong the most i can break is like three cracker bricks and that's with spacers so that doesn't mean shit (laughs) <laughs> cracker bricks. Is that a racist term toward my fellow whites? They're like half inch bricks. Especially doesn't mean shit to people who don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they're like half an inch in diameter. All the stacks, like the, the fucking yeah, so Mortal you Kombat. Like stack them, so they're like Test inch, your strength. half an inch. But when you put spacers, so like that's when you put like pennies to space them out. Because when you break that first brick, the downward motion makes it travel better so it break it's a cleaner break but if you don't have the spacers then like the weight's more evenly distributed so when you hit it it's probably not going to be even even it's probably going to crack it's like one diagonally one and like another way yeah no it's just making it like you have to put more force through that shit yeah the spacer makes it to where like the momentum travels yeah yeah you know i hear what you're saying sorry go ahead okay but yeah, no spacers help and like setting shit on fire that looks cooler, but like that actually makes it easier too. Well, yeah, less <laughs> yeah. fucking like integrity of the. Yeah, cause turns out shit's easier to break when it's on fire. Soaking yeah. it, soaking it in kerosene. Yeah, don't soak it in kerosene, but essentially. Um. Yeah, and then I noticed bricks are easier to break than wood. Oh, did you unplug yourself? Or you... Did I? I don't know. I How heard... about now? You're good now. Okay, I think this like. I've tugged on it a little bit. Testing, again. testes, testicles. One, two, three. I have alien balls. Testicles. Can't hear you. Okay. Maybe you're just whispering again. Whispering? Yeah, I think it was. I had one okay. time. 
saw dead people. Did you unplug it? Did I? No, from from your mic cord. It's like when you moved it. Hey, y'all know that we're like moving at 80 right, miles good. an hour on okay. the. Okay. Josh does just doesn't get it. Look, <laughs> man, we can't fucking shoot our way out of a fucking high speed crash. Oh, like shit. someone try and carjack us, we cool. I'll fucking, you know, let them meet whatever god they want, but fucking, you know, you fucking getting all Paul Walker up in this bitch, like that that's a different story. I can't I can't help us. I can't shoot us out of that situation. Indeed. AKA fucking, you know, drive like you're not Vin Diesel, god damn it. Still nothing. What? <laughs> Checking to see if I got paid yet. Oh, I thought you were talking to see if your microphone worked. No. Nope. pay isn't... See, that's some shit we should really address. Like, what's the high expectation with the shitty fucking professionalism? Like, you can't expect professionalism without actually reciprocating, right? Like, is that is that unfounded of me to... Like, I know it's just commonplace in the comedy scene. Like, motherfucking show producers don't do shit by the books or on the number... Like... You are owed seventy-five dollars for the twenty minutes that you performed. Why were you not paid out when you left? Is that not noteworthy topic? I did get paid. Oh. Yeah. How do you think I got the beer and the vape? Well, what the fuck were you talking about, money, fo? My paycheck. Oh. From my day job. Let me correct for the record now that I'm the cunt in this situation. Dude, that's you've been on the me. Cunt the book whole book day. this guy. Book Fuck this it. guy. <laughs> Look, I've been a cunt. Shows up to the mic, doesn't practice his song. We even told you like the song. We're like, I already like, know, I already know how to play that song. It's cool. No, I mean, I played it. But yeah, you did have more more lyrics than I thought you had. Yeah, that is fair. But you were like improvising the lyrics, weren't you? No. Yeah, at the end, you said some no, shit. No, no, no. You, you ended with some improvise. I heard it. Uh, no. Well, I mean, I ad-libbed. Yes, yeah, that's but improvised. That's, yeah. But ain't no but sex when she gone. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucked this up again today. <laughs> I don't get paid here to show up, y'all. Good enough. <laughs> but yeah, I forgot my job. Liam will. Well, I, Liam Williams. Yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. No. But it was all based. I off made like, it up. I didn't improvise. Yeah. It's like I didn't breathe in full. I just inhaled after I exhaled. I uh, yes and did. But don't call that improv. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Said you're gonna commit to prop comedy, and you're already looking down on other lesser forms. Oh, of in, in in improv news, <laughs> I'm gonna be on the uh, the next off the top show with my own team. It's gonna be my team versus Peter's team. Oh fuck yeah! And why wasn't I on this team? I haven't made a team yet. I don't know if they're if we're picking or they have. I think we're just gonna use the improv crew. Oh uh, okay. But I think there's like a few comics they throw in there. Gotcha. Hey, you wanna you do it? You wanna try some improv? I'm down. I was joking about not respecting improv. I actually think it's really fun and cool. <laughs> I respect hey, if you cunts okay. need somebody with a guitar and like what we the don't. fuck <laughs> work ethic, I'm I thought you were gonna. I thought it. you were gonna say like uh, improv that you wanted to try improv and you want to bring in the guitar too. Well, yeah, no, I've committed to being a prop comic. I want to uh, Glock prop comic. Technically, it's not a. Pro- uh, I guess if you have, have you ever to, considered don't take your out on stage. It turned. Up. Have you ever considered learning to play the shoehorn? Uh, so no, could, I'm interested in getting laid at so least could, once or twice in my life so you again. Could jam that into every conversation. Oh, I'll jam something <laughs> in. Every, my brother learned to play the ocarina and I got him pussy. Hey, the, the, ocarina. The Zelda thing? Yeah. Wait, he that's the Zelda, Zelda thing? Yeah, the ocarina of time. Or the green, hey, or the green, ocarina. or Remember the green Power Ranger. The fucking, you had to play the songs to summon your horse or Zelda's lullaby or whatever. You don't remember that? You had to hit the buttons in the right. It's like, do, 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 I remember when I talked too much and almost got my button muted, so I shut the fuck up. Un makatu, like a up. I thought it worked, but he just started talking again. <laughs> it got good to me. I'm sorry. What do you mean? The, that, that was the only noise it made? Are you talking about the Power Rangers or are you talking about Un Zelda? Zelda, the ocarina. Like, the thing that he played. 
Zelda, right? Yeah. Or wait. The Link. Legend of Zelda. Link. Link to the Past. Or not Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time. Link to the mm, Past Maka was two, Super Maka Nintendo. Three, Maka. His name wasn't Zelda. He was a... His name was Link. He was a woman. No. Got Zelda it. was the bitch. You can't call them bitches now. They're yeah, called just, executive just, just leaders. Zelda was the Josh damsel is, in Josh distress. Is trying with all his ounce to make this unlistenable. With every strength of his being. Like, let's just throw in a... Zelda was a really nice woman. You know what? I, I was wrong about the jerk, jerk my cock line. It got a good, it got a good reaction from the crowd. It did, but I thought also it was gonna be too, too crass. But they're like, oh, okay, that's funny. Oh, we going back to my. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. No, they did. Act, so I Josh act actually did do better than we thought he was going to do. Not that's on the podcast. Fair, cause I, oh yeah, no, I'm fucking <laughs> tanking this shit. But like, I had faith in you in the beginning, and then the like, we. Like the more we started driving, the more you kept talking. I was all like, "Okay, we're gonna see how this is gonna go." But look, I never promised it'd be good. That's true. But you did ask for time, and I thought you'd put more effort. <laughs> hey, I put some effort in. Kind of. You put more effort into playing the drums today. <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm better at that. Okay. No, I put effort into it. It's just like, all right. Truthfully, I was. Scared sh- fucking shit list. You just think it's easy because you said Celia can make people laugh. No, that's, that's, that's a good not, front. That's not impressive. So you're just no, like. No, it's a good front. Like, it was. I was scared shitless up there, all right? I was fucking <laughs> just doing the best I could in front of it. Like, yesterday, that bomb, that wasn't accidental. It's not like I was like, oh, oh you, you oh, know. You oh, it was like, oh, shit. Because I remember what, Andrew, like, Andrew was like, what the fuck is going on? Andrew Oriana, when he brought you up, he's like, oh, I haven't seen this guy, but I've heard. I've seen him around, but I've never seen him, and he brought you up to that. Oh, yeah, no, it was a goddamn dumpster <laughs> fire. And he's out of, what the fuck is happening right now? Because <laughs> there Nothing was a lot. You, you didn't say, there was, like, times you were just blank, and you weren't saying anything for, like, ten seconds. You were just, like, staring yeah, in no. space, like, uh, yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> but that's good. That builds character. Or makes you not want to do it for three years. Or turns you into a fucking prop comic guy. And, and then try it and then try it again in three years See, and you know. That's when I knew I wanted to do comedy because the first time I fucking bombed because I was lucky and didn't bomb until like seven months in. But um when I bombed and Review. like I ate shit, it was like silence for fifteen minutes. And I still wanted to do it. It's like I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna make these people fucking listen to me. They're gonna laugh. Yeah, like, you guys are going to hate me, but I, I think I'm turning into a prop comic. Okay, we don't hate you for turning into prop comedy. Just for saying it 20 times. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, this, <laughs> this is just the way of my walk You're now. just I'm propping gonna... your prop comedy up. Yeah, you're propping it up. <laughs> I guess. Also, vape me. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is your vape, after all. It is. Vape me! Straight vape me again! But yeah, no, I'm gonna just, you know, fucking, I'm just gonna, you know, do some, uh, some tunes and stuff. <laughs> Go back to my drums. Oh. My guitar. Also, shout out to the bitch in the audience who also worked at McDonald's. I know she'll never hear this. But, like, <laughs> I just saw the PTSD in her eyes, too, and she nodded. She's like, eight years. And I'm like, okay, this bitch knows. Eight years. Well, these ones, it's like you use the, uh, there's like a front area, you know, I don't know. It's almost like a circular wheel type deal. Because I've known how to drive like a lot of forklifts, but I went to go apply for this one job, and I just figured like, yeah, just fucking fake it till you make it. Like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I can, I can drive that shit. And the fucking manager took me back there to let me try it out, and I was fucking, <laughs> like, went all fucking weird and like almost busted ass. He's like, nah, nah, all right, man, that's enough, and he like just walked me out. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no. It'd be like that. No, this was just <laughs> pallet jacks. Trying. Like, this wasn't one of those fucking forklift-looking reach motherfucking things. Like, those you have to actually get some training for. No, you, had, you like, stood on it and, it, and it went. Like, you stood on the side of it only, but it wasn't like you sit down on it. It was weird. I had never seen one like that, so I don't know why, why I thought I could fucking drive it. <laughs> it was real fucking delicate. Like, you barely move it, and it fucking takes off quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, these shits were not fun. I mean, they kind of were, but then you start looking around and all, like, once you figure out how to maneuver these fucking, that's the other thing is, like, those fucking little pallet jacks, like, not even the forklift reaches, just those pallet jacks, 
Like, you fucking roll over somebody's foot and they never walk again. Like, that shit, a couple of thousand pounds that moves, like, the whole shit was scary as fuck operation-wise. I'm just like, oh, this is cool. Like, everybody's high as shit and, uh... Fucking, we're all just, you know, playing slalom with a fucking massive amount of weight. Like, all it takes is one fucking wrong skid and, you know, this whole fucking operation's coming down. Oh, I think I have another uh, shittier job. Uh, when I was, like, too young to even work, my dad had me and my little brother uh, picking rocks in a field. Like, filling a bucket full of rocks. Oh, shit, that's considered a job? Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know what the hell it was for. But he was like, yeah, you know, do it, like. So now that I'm grown, it's because he's like making, getting the rocks out of there so he could till it to plant shit. Uh, but I remember, I thought it was just punishment at first. I was like, who the fuck's just putting rocks in a bucket? <laughs> All right, maybe he had a purpose for yours, and maybe I had a purpose for my rock, per, like punishment. But yeah, rocks are bullshit. But I remember, I had to take a-, a fucking wheelbarrow up a hill, fucking grab all the rocks, and push that bitch down and then line them on the side of the double wide. Not the double wide I have. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why are double wides my fucking... Alright, never mind. But yeah, no. Rocks are bullshit. Probably why I don't like crack. Or crackheads. You know, I've had a lot of really shitty jobs but like the worst one was babysitting this girl named Natasha who was a fucking animal ran all over the place and finally one day I started spanking her. And she started screaming, yes, hit me harder. Oh, and I hot. dropped Keep that going. bitch. She was fucking four. Oh, this is getting way weirder and It hotter. freaks Keep me going. the fuck out. And, oh, like, I didn't yeah. know how to respond to her. Chucky doll. One time she, lo- like, locked me in a closet. And she's like, can you go check to see if there's monsters? And then she locked the closet behind me. And I had to call my brother. It's all like, I need you to come and let me out of the closet. And he's all like, what? He's like, are you coming out as gay? It's like, no. It's like, Natasha fucking locked me in the closet. And he just started laughing his ass off. But that child was from hell. Uh, one time I accidentally fed her maggoty soup. <laughs> maggoty? Yeah. You mean maggot soup? <laughs> yeah, there was like the little floaties in there. I don't even know how it got in there. It was canned soup. Well, I mean, did but it like kill I her? realized it when she was like halfway done eating it, but she had already been a monster, and she was just like slurping it down, and I'm like, she'll be fine. And I walked off. Special kind of evil baby. Dude, kids are awful and amazing. Because <laughs> I worked with kids for like ten years when I did martial arts. I'd help with the summer camp, and I did the itty bitty lions, the little lions, and the big kids class. Yeah, I think I'm good with kids because I don't have any. I think that might be the case for me too, but I'm told I'm really patient, especially at work when I'm dealing with all these fucking old fucks who don't know how discounts work. It's like, well, what do I have to do to get the government military discount? Are you a member of the government or military? No. You'd have to get a job with or enlist. It's like, but if I do that, I can get the discount. It's like, yeah. Sign me up. Meanwhile, they'll freak out if you ask them to sign up for Best Western Rewards. It's like, why the hell would I want to do that? <laughs> it's like because you're here every week. It's a loyalty card. John. You get points. Also, it brings the room rate down by forty bucks at night. So I don't know, save money. Mister <laughs> Mister Peabody, just made of piss, littlest liver in the world. Dude. Josh, like I know I, yeah. Because, like, I know I pee a lot, especially when I drink. That's why, like, I preemptively pissed. So did I. I just, you know, I mean. Yeah, but then you drink two other beers. Well, I mean, you know. I didn't say I was a smart man. Drove. Oh, uh, crap. And what, we got the fuzz behind us? That's fun. The fuzz. Somewhere back there. And they're up there, too. He's all up in my peach fuzz. Mm. Hence why the rest stop would be a good option. Uh, should we show Hector the Balls Deep song? Oh, wait, wait. wait. Balls Deep? Yes, we should. Yay. What is it? It's a song about being in love, Hector. Yeah, fucking Balls Deep in love, bro. Balls Deep. Thought you were going to show me a NBA documentary. No, no, no that one's But Scotty Pippen features in it. 
Dennis Rodman balls deep. Oh, he does, doesn't he? That's a short song. But when it happens. Actually, like, it's one of the season shows I watched all of. I don't know why, but it made me laugh. I liked it more than American Dad. Oh, You're a terrible time. daughter. Yeah. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Josh going into impressions now. <laughs> yeah, Doing impression. a bad job. What about a guitar impressionist? Can I you do any impressions, Hector? Uh, yeah. What impressions can you do? Macho Man. Macho Man Randy Savage. Taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Thunderdome, brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, the only impression I can do is Little Nicky. Like, Alexander? Yeah. Okay, so do it. God damn it. Okay. You can't say you can do it and then not do it. You just gotta let the chicken slide down your throat hole. <laughs> uh, whack. This is like an old street joke I used to hear some guy do, but uh. Is that give me like, my vape? Like an Arnold joke? Have you ever heard this? I don't know which comic said this, but I'm sure that you heard it somewhere and repeated it. But it was like, how did it go about? It was like an impression of Arnold just doing a bunch of different shit and like. He's not a tumor. It's like ah. Yeah, this is Arnold in a fucking something. This is him doing this, and it's like all the same noise. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, what was it? I think it was him. I don't know, man, but I bet they got to pee at least once every hour. Jesus Christ. That sounds like a STD. Yeah. Maybe you got the clap. Look, nobody clapped for me tonight, so I don't have the clap. It doesn't, like, how long does it take for the clap to kick in? Like, isn't there, like, an incubation time? Is it 24 hours before your dick starts using? <laughs> really? I, I don't know. I thought it was immediate. Well, Maybe. you would know. You have the biggest dick of us all, Celia. Immediate burn. Yeah, but I clean it. It's the only thing I do clean. Are you ring Fucking it? accurate. I wring it out after every use. Emotional damage. God, I love my new vibrator. His name's Mr. Buzzy, and he's my best friend. Also, I like Hector's vibrator, Mr. which I'm going to steal. Mr. Buzzy? Yeah. Don't you dare Wait, talk what? about my vibrator. Your vibrator is amazing. <laughs> I'm just fucking pounding people on the patio. <laughs> yeah, I, th I thought about using that as a vibrator, but it's pretty much a punch machine. Yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> like punch your balls. <laughs> That's cool. Where's the Yeah, I don't think I'd actually put it to my vagina. <laughs> it's just like, ta, ta, ta. <coughs> it's like, choo, choo, choo. 50, 50 punches per I just second. got a weird kink where it's like, I need you to punch my clitoris before percussion. we get started. I need some percussion on my... Yeah. Uh, if you could just like jab cross a couple times, that'd be great. If you could do a drum line on my G-spot. <laughs> Look, I'm going to do a P-line out your back door spot. like, And derailed. Derailed. This would be a good uh, name for podcasting. Derailed? Yeah, yeah. We'll oh, and then we just have a different guest who doesn't shut the fuck up every <laughs> week. <laughs> we'll have a conversation and Josh just comes in and like derails. No, <laughs> like there's a lot of people who do that. We could have Jesse Ever on the shit. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No offense, Mr. Ever. Well, oh! Will derail you? Or is this a, a sex joke? No, it's the like fucking. <laughs> pre pre rail you? He doesn't do it all the time. It's mostly on Facebook, just the really long Facebook posts. Oh, the, the rants, rants. The TED, ta the TED Talks. It's just like NPR sanctioned like comedy advice. 
I don't know. I don't. I hate TED Talks. Catch me at the Purple Turtle next month. <laughs> I am gonna be at the Purple Turtle next month. Oh, you're month. with me too, Ray. Yeah. All right, now I'm on it in October, actually. Wait, that's I'm an doing actual venue and not a dick joke. No, it's called the Purple Turtle. Yeah, it's a and dick I'm joke, told right? I'm now, gonna do well there. Now that you say that, is it a gay bar? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> I didn't realize that. I don't know if it is a gay bar, but um, I don't think turtle. it is because Damian Ramos like told me about it, and he's like, "Dude, if there's ever a place you're gonna crush, it's gonna be that place." Oh, so it's totally maybe. a gay bar then. I don't well, feel also, like the pride community likes me as car? much. Like, why is it trying to fucking? <laughs> why do you like? We give you like uh, bl- uh, dead air to talk, but you insist on waiting till somebody else is talking. Oh, because I'm fucking stupid, man. <laughs> Mute his mic. Mute his mic. Unplug his mic. Was it hey, this one? No, 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 no. <laughs> and all you said was, whoa, this car is what? Well, the fucking dickhead was just like purposely trying to get in the blind spot. You try to pass it, it fucking speeds up to get in your blind spot. Fucking cunt moves. Yeah. So, like I said. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta pee. Everything the- suspect to me right now. Like, fucking, this microphone's looking too friendly. Drunken Josh. No. no. <laughs> need me, Josh. Oh, Actually, wait. Carlos that- Miranda responded. Huh? He's like, Can I have you- no idea what this group is, <laughs> how I ended up in it, but I'm glad you're doing well. <laughs> they added the wrong Hector to the, yeah. to the group chat. Nice. Yeah, people are having trouble finding me online. I should have told her I was under what the Hector. <laughs> it slipped my mind. But she said, it's like, can you tell Hector to accept my friend request? And I'm like, yeah. I thought I did. Pretty sure I did. I think she just thought of my name and put Hector, and that's the first one that popped up, so she decided it. Gotcha. Hector yeah, and his right. rectum are real. Would I get the counter? Counter. What does the counter say? The rectum counter. Rectum counter. Okay. Uh, rectum? He damn near killed him. Still broke. Hey man, why'd you mute my mic? <laughs> because he's a hero and not all heroes wear cakes. Because you stink. That was cold. You smell like shit. And piss. Dog, I told you to pull over like 20 <laughs> minutes ago. Piss part's like, I mean, kind of my fault, but not really my Smells fault. Smells like pussy. It's like a little kid. It's like, go to the bathroom. Fucking rabbit. Mm. Whoa, when did we get rabbits? Uh, That's that movie. I think it's called Gummo. Gumbo. Those little kids dressed as bunnies shooting each other. It's uh, they're, wa- they're watching it on the scene in belly what the fuck no you gotta remember no. that movie no so the movie dmx is in belly there's a beginning where they rob that place and black lights and then they go back to his place and it's all nice they're playing pool and he turns on a movie and it's that movie it's like these fucking little kids dressed with the rabbit ears and they're like this fucking rabbit stinks he smells like pussy and then like the <laughs> little kids kill him and they all start shooting it <laughs> that's an actual movie it's called a gummo or gumbo or something like that. I remember coming across it. I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to have to look at this. Yeah. It looks like an interesting movie. It's pretty old, like an 80s movie, I think. 80s, maybe 70s. I was hanging out with David Kayes, and, like, we were looking for, like, horror movies and stuff to watch. And then we found this, like, French film, and it was called The Beast. And we watched the trailer, which was five minutes long, but it was basically this woman running through a forest with a bear with an erection chasing her. <laughs> And um, they badly, like, edit out the penis of the bear, which it's just a man in a bear costume. But, like, you just see this black line wherever the penis is going, so you, like, can tell where the penis is. And, like, oh, the penis... black censored bar? Yeah, and then the penis will be hanging outside of the bar, like, for seconds at a time. But you just see this bitch running, and, like, a piece of her clothing falls off, like, every, like, what minute. And she's just running with her tits out wearing the stretch. She's like, ah! There's like this classical music playing as the bears chasing after her horny making bear sounds. And I want to watch that movie now. 
That's fair. And I know this makes me sound like a bitch, but can we please, uh, at some point, let me make Tinkle out the window or some shit? Uh, yeah. But you want him to tinkle out the window? <laughs> no. I mean, like, I don't have to do that. I'm just saying. Like, uh, I mean, he just keeps asking the same question, so I figured I'd just say yes this time. Maybe maybe it has a different effect. No, man. I, like, <laughs> I'm not trying to be a buzzkill. Like, I just got to make water. and. Like, I know, but fuck. But I could do it in the bottle. You were just saying no because it would smell pissy. Like, You're going to fill it up, overfill it. Probably, yeah, actually. There's a gas station right here. Look. Next stop. Dun, dun, dun. Oh no, that looks like a damn. Uh... No, there's not a Chevron there. I mean, literally, we can just pull over to the side. And I, can, I can quickly piss and we can get the fuck on. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, you want people to I see mean, your I'm dick. Just saying you want truckers it. to see your dick, Josh? That what this whole trip was? Problems. No, you specifically want to take your dick out to pee when you're in this car. I think you want to fuck a trucker. What? No, I want to, like, not piss myself in the back seat of the car. It is really my M.O. Okay. Like, if I could be real with you, not making a stinky puddle back here in this back seat is my uh, M.O. Well, and unfortunately, shit. I did drink some, like, sorry, they had refreshments at the party. So, I mean, like, pardon me if an hour and a half into the fucking trek I have to tinkle pee that's what I told you before you got the beer I peed before we left too I just I'm sorry dun, dun, dun. all in all a great night though pretty solid bum, bum, bum. I'm telling you I'll be like back and forth so quick I'm just gonna make pee so fucking oh nice here, hold this. Hold that mic. Okay. This is what I meant. I know, and he's saying that his dog got to third base with me. Yeah, yeah, but we're talking about nice titties, not cellular titties. My tits are nice. For, like... Yeah, 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 your tits are nice. Can I see your vape now? No. What? Come on. I was nice about your tits. Uh-huh. Ish. Because you wanted the vape. Yeah. <laughs> True. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'm a simple man. I like vapes and not Repeating your titties. Yourself. I'm just playing. You got nice boobs. Thank you. They're one of my best features. Everybody got nice boobs, though. Like, if they have nipples, they're probably, like, cool boobs. To any man with a penis that likes boobs, like, boobs are good. Boobs are good. They all look weird. Like, if we're going to really get into the brass tacks of it... Everybody got weird boobs. Like, what are those other nipples around the nipple? Remember the first time seeing boobs and you were like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, holy shit, she let me see these? I mean, yeah, no, I was like, woo. That's not how they look in the magazine. Man, that was before they had, like, really <laughs> high-def cameras. Yeah. I really wish they would have had that high-def cameras. I think I might have been a little bit more apprehensive about porn. I didn't know that nipples had, like, multiple nipples around the nipple. You know what I'm fucking talking about, too. Little boob nipples. A little fucking braille around the booby. Are you talking about the bumps on the nipple? Yeah, yeah, the nipple bumps. Okay. The extra nipples on the nipple. Okay. There's, like, 16 nipples on one. It's like some goddamn Jurassic Park bug fest type shit. There's one big nipple, and there's, like, a lot of random ones that are just chilling around. Like, they didn't make the cut, but they're still kicking it on the team. Huh. They're glands. Milk glands. Bum, bum, bum. Really? Undeveloped. Undeveloped. But never forgot. Yeah, huh? Guys have fucking nipples, too. Yeah, but, like... Oh, uh, yeah, dude nipples probably look weird, too. Hmm? You've never looked at your own nipples? Well, I mean, I've looked at mine... But under a microscope? Well, no. Yeah, that shit looks weird. The boobs look really weird without the skin. Without the skin? Yeah. Hey, what? <laughs> what kind of Hannibal Lecter shit did you just ship uh, to? I like, just might zoom into the surface, <laughs> not go through the skin. <laughs> yeah, like what in the fuck? 
I saw Y'all like never watched My Name is Earl when he was like learning about all this shit for like Joy, who's gonna be a surrogate mother for her sister. He's like, I learned a lot of things. And I also learned that boobs look really gross without the skin. <laughs> all right. Well, I learned that even though you're my roommate and I trust you, I'm going to lock the fucking doors. I'm not skinning that. people's nipples. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. fucking read medical oh, books. I just yep. pictured them. I just Famous pictured last words. Yeah. Somebody that's got the Now picture skull. a baby without its skin on. No, I just pictured a, a, a lady with big tits without skin and, and how the tits look. And yeah. there's just a bunch of little, like, uh, glands, right? Like milk milk glands? Little tits skin. Yeah. It'll be like some muscle tissue and a lot of fat. So but. it'll look like a, like a pomegranate. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that is what nipples look like. Fucking pomegranate titty. Yeah, kind of. Dude, I love pomegranates, but they are yeah, so time consuming. Yeah, me too, and I love titties, but like, let's agree, they all look weird. Like, yeah. I love me some weird titty, but like, titties look weird. Is that a fair compromise? Yeah. I feel the same way about boobs and or uh, dicks and vaginas, too. It's like, this looks funky, but like, well, I'm about sexual it. sexual organs look fucking weird. Like, nobody oh. looks at them and goes, huh, attractive. Especially buttholes. Ooh, the weird starfish. Jarrett has a really fucking ashy butthole. Ashy? Yeah. He doesn't lotion his butthole. I guess not. I think it's from all that from that spray paint that one time because it doesn't like a graffiti fuck up a brick wall. That's Probably, true. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, no, no, like that, that, I feel that like his asshole was ashy paint. before that. Getting though. all this fucking C. What is the word for it? The ozone shit. The CBC. What's the shit that's in can spray that fucks it up? Shit. I forget what's it called. Um, I got nothing. What? Aerosol. Aerosol. Um, I mean, isn't that it? I don't know. Fucking, I don't know. I just remember there was an Eminem song where he says, "Spray an aerosol can up at the ozone layer." No, I think that's whenever uh, uh, we used to worry about that, and now I think they fixed it, right? The hole. Well, have they figured out how to not beat up Foghorn Lake? Oh yeah, with an I haven't heard about the hole in a while. Oh, I'll put a hole in your wall <laughs> and then hole. stick my dick through it. There's a fucking. I, I can't believe just one hole in the ozone layer. Like, yeah, I think there'd be like a couple. Yeah, like a like a team of holes up there. Uh, like a stable of holes up there in the fucking atmosphere. Yeah. Stratosphere. And hey, let me see that vape again. Because they let light in like different parts. Like I guess Phoenix would have one because the damn sun just breaks through here. That's why we have the suns. Because it's a valley, right? Why is it so damn hot here? In Nero- uh, because I guess literally because it's a valley. Concrete, it's a fucking rock bed. I guess. Yeah. It's like low. all the cement and shit traps the, the heat. No, it's like below sea uh. level, or are we above sea level? No, we We're way. Below. Below. Yeah, I think below that's what it level. is because because you go to Flagstaff, it's all nice up there. Yeah. It's like four thousand feet up. Rains yeah. more, more moisture. I love the rain, and I love Flagstaff. Lack of comedy there, which is why I live down here. I don't know though, like Washington, Olympia, it's ocean level and there's plenty of like desert. No, nah, rain. Oh. And I don't know. It's right by the ocean. Yeah, man, it was like right next to my apartment. It was pretty chill. Five minute walk. Just walk over to the pier and see boats. It sounds like you hated it. No, I loved it. I just didn't like the people there. Like Washington State beautiful territory shitty people like you have one of two polar opposites you have the super heavy bleeding heart liberal types that are all like you know you fucking whatever extreme you can imagine and then the opposite ones that are like the republican like trump thumper flag motherfuckers and er, second amendment like we don't care what they voted they are trying to take our guns Point being, fucking not many rational people up there. Like, I thought Arizona sucked, and then I moved up there, and I'm like, wow, actually, Arizona's a pretty rational state. Like, it might be a bit of a melting pot, but there's a far more diverse collection of uh, culture, opinions, and just good camaraderie melting than pot. there is I'm in actually Washington. proud of coming here, or, like, being born and raised here. Like, I don't know. You're proud of Texas, right? And like, do you have Minnesota pride or? Minnesota Shit, pride. I didn't fucking like live there long enough to literally like, like. I love that it's a state that's firm in hockey, and that's where I'm rooted from. But honestly, other than that, I don't really know 
much about it. Like, I can't really claim to be from Minnesota. I grew up in Arizona. Like, I'm from Minnesota, but pretty much grew here. So, like... He's a desert white. More or less. Damn. I want to go to casino. Still haven't gotten paid yet. Yeah, well, we can't do that until you get paid. Yeah, I know. We can smoke weed in the parking lot for an hour. One hour. Hey, take the exit here. We're going to win us some money, son. Oh, we'd probably lose all the money. Well, there's only one way to find out. Uh, I mean, you know, you know, treadmill, run off some fumes. Wait, if we hide in the uh, elevator, are we allowed to drink a beer? No. Oh, uh, okay. No good fucking drink it will work. Four or five minutes. This one time, I saw some tits. It was pretty cool. <laughs> oh no! Damn it, I dropped my lemon pie. Lemon pie, lemon guy. Outro, I guess I forgot to push stop on this thing. Yeah. Oh, that's so it's just Josh been playing music for like six minutes. Everybody's been signing out. That'll be, that'll be a nice intro. Yeah. Was he singing too? Uh, a little bit. Oh yeah, I did badly, but we can. We could edit you singing out. Fucking a. I want to tell you something. <laughs> so that you'll put the effort into editing. <laughs> oh no, fucking it. See what the hell. This salvageable. This salvageable. Well, she said I wanted to show you something. All the pissing time, all the piss time, I gotta cut out. <laughs> Alright, anyways, see what we're about to do right now. Hey. Deuces. See you later, and I'm paid.